how you doing uh, welcome to Arsenal well this is a different view let me just straighten you up slightly it's a different view of the Arsenal stadium this is the development um, uh, opposite the stadium itself and as far as I know it is part of the the Arsenal portfolio the Arsenal portfolio of uh, business interest and it's a beautiful um, it's a beautiful set of block of flats but it's so claustrophobic and um, uh, expensive as well you know um, the average price was uh, 500,000 half a million to three quarters of a million at the time it was built at the very top uh, down there let's have a look let's see the very top down there you've got the flats you've got the flats at the top that's the penthouse you go back to me now see my big hand in the shot that's the the penthouse and probably that went for a million and from the top up there you can view uh, a good part of London you know and that probably went from that probably went a lot for a lot more as well um, the irony about certain things in life is that when I first a few minutes ago, I come and sit down here. There's nobody now. We're gonna have like everybody attracted, like a magnet. And night being day, night being day, you know, they tend to be in my background. But that's the nature of the business. Um, it tends to happen um, many times when I'm taking pictures or doing video. That's that's what happens. Well. Today is Saturday, the 25th of uh, July 2020. Uh, we come into the end of the third week after 75% of the restrictions um, have been eased. So there's still 25% restriction. I've just heard a few minutes ago that uh, people coming over from Spain will have to go into 14 days quarantine from midnight tonight and it's like around 8 o'clock now so that's going to be news to some people you know that they're going to have to spend 14 days once they land back in Blighty in quarantine now initially when they announced that um, they were going to do 14 days quarantine for anybody coming into the country they were going to, they were going to enforce it very very strictly now how strictly was it something like this um, you have to tell them where you're going to quarantine where you're going to stay for that 14 days when you enter the country and they will randomly check on you to, to see if you are actually in now if they if they check on you and you're not in they're gonna find you right so that's what they said like about uh, two three weeks ago and then they eased that because there there is now some some special deals with certain countries in Europe like um, France and Spain and Portugal right Spain and Portugal these are these are holiday destinations for British people so um, so they, they, they did a deal and from midnight well they they, they did a deal so uh, and so people could go to those places and now they re reinforced it back from midnight tonight and so I hear there's people scrambling for planes right now uh, to try and get a plane at 11 o'clock to get back to the UK uh, because that will be quarantine time or lockdown time from 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 Spain you know so that's the the step of it yesterday was a great day um, I met some well there's some friends who owed me a couple of drinks 
and they caught up with me and they gave me a couple of drinks plus if you watched my uh, webcast from earlier on that day uh, you see I was having a couple of drinks anyway so um, so today is more or less trying to get the is trying to get the the alcohol out of my system yeah. and like night turns today uh, people always tend to come into my background and then start to speak uh, so I might I might change location anyway the weather today it has been raining um, uh, off and on don't know what the weather is going to be like tomorrow um, but we're gonna um, we're gonna we're gonna see it more or less you know so I'll tell you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna end part one of this and we will um, resume in a moment Hi, how are you doing? This is uh, part two. We're down here at the Arsenal Stadium. It's around eight o'clock. We just turn the lights on. Um, uh, maybe they regularly turn it on at eight o'clock. Last time I think I was here, they turned it on uh, around the same time. What you're looking at is the Arsenal Stadium development. This is all part of the stadium there. That real estate and that property, I believe, is owned by. Arsenal Stadium. When they got the when they got the the, the land, it's almost a whole postcode. The couple of streets was actually destroyed. Um, bridges was being built. Uh, train station was improved. Um, so it was a massive project. Also infrastructure project. There's housing. There's also some social products social projects as well so uh, one thing you've got to give Arsenal Stadium for is that they do have some social um, projects they do have a young Arsenal team it's, it's an academy you know so they train up would-be footballers um, possible future players for the for the Arsenal team so there's a lot of social investment now i don't quite know all the connections uh, or, or social interaction that arsenal stadium uh has you know, i've been lazy you know uh because i've because i spent so much time in the entertainment business uh then i haven't got time to spend time to get involved in local projects um, of such but yeah, as you see in the background you can see that's the Arsenal um, part of the Arsenal um, development and uh, investment um, and it's I think it's literally a quarter of a mile of real estate you know but it's, this, this is going to be here for at least a hundred years it's, it's going to be past <laughs> past my lifetime and probably pass any offsprings I have their lifetime as well so it's you know uh, but that might not be that might not be correct because the way the city if you watch the other videos I've done the the, the city is constantly um, uh, growing and changing and they knocking down and they rebuilding and knocking down and rebuilding uh, someone might make them an offer and they might just knock it all down and redo it again or do it bigger or whatever advancement in technology that comes about um, they might need to implement it and they might need to build a brand new studio one thing I've got to say about the American um, uh, the American uh, Super Bowl stadiums is that from from the air you can actually see um, the sponsors, Mercedes. I think I'm talking about Atlanta, the big um, uh, stadium they got. Now, never been to Atlanta, right? But I've 
taken a virtual trip there uh, and literally you could do that take uh, you could do that from home the only thing you're not going to get is the is the atmosphere the weather and interaction with the people but that's not necessarily true um, that's not necessarily true about the interaction with the people because as you do a virtual tour people with businesses um, you can literally track them down on their uh, social media page and actually communicate with them you know um, I was really surprised to see that on the not in Atlanta but the Las Vegas Strip which I took a virtual tour how Chef Ram Ramsey, Ramsey Gordon Gordon Ramsey um, Gordon Ramsey one of the the chef from the UK has Hell's, Hell's Kitchen has a Hell's Kitchen um, on the Las Vegas Strip you know and if I said to you I've been up and down the Las Vegas Strip and I could tell you that there's a USA airbase at the edge of uh, Las Vegas there um, and I forgot which um, which which desert you know and when they say uh, we've got planes coming in from that part of America I understand it's part of the America's defense you know um, but yeah it's, it's about the virtual trip it's about actually visiting all those places and being able to actually communicate with them uh, because with Hell's Kitchen it's got a website um, it's got a I didn't see the, the it's got social media pages so you could communicate with the people literally and if you're that clever you could do a live chat with the people directly so I can't really say that not interacting with the people um, but I can definitely say you can't feel the weather you know in London at the moment it, it's, it's been raining today off and on intermittently it's eased off a bit now it's windy or maybe where I am where I am now it, it's kind of a, a wind tunnel kind of effect because we outside of the stadium and on both sides we've got a stage got a stadium over there and we've got houses over there so it's, it's it's a funnel so the little wind is actually funneled down where we are at the moment so any wind uh, will be funneled down so that's why you're hearing the wind um, so back to the weather so it's a little bit more windy I hope I'll put something to stop the wind noise um, but yeah so you can do a virtual trip Hell's Kitchen uh, the American Stadium, you go back to Atlanta uh, you can see the Mercedes sign literally from the satellite <laughs> literally from the satellite because those what I was doing was taken from the satellite um, and on top of the stadium um, CNN um, uh, the, the different um, uh, roads named after various people Ted Turner Drive you know, um, uh, Martin Luther King, um, the building itself, the, the church, is it a church? They've got, they got uh, sort of water and swimming pool out there. You can take a virtual tour if you're clever. You can see people's pictures that they've taken. You can, all, it's almost like you can actually be there. And, and to some expect, to, to some extent, for me, it can actually be a better experience than actually um, being there because uh, you could stop and double check information and it's not that you um, it's not that you when you're there you might be under a time pressure you might be under financial pressure but when you're doing it from home and you want to double check information and double check thing it might be um, thing but imagine if you put on a VR virtual reality um, spectacle, you know, and like then virtual reality games, and you're actually there looking around. Um, I really haven't tested out the virtual reality uh, games or experience, but it might be 
um, something that Google might be doing next, you know? So the, that, that street view that, uh, that, that, um, that Google has, you'll be able to put on a virtual reality uh, headset and literally walk, walk down the street, you know? Or drive down the street, you know, in a virtual Google simulated car because it's all got, got all the data and it's got all the information and it was a big thing or a big investment uh, just a while back about uh, the automated the driverless car so Google are working on it and there are other companies working on it and there was a big there was a big uh, a lot of noise media noise about it but I don't know how far that's gone down the line you know the, the automated uh, cars being driven auto um, automatically and uh, vehicles delivery vehicles automatically um, driving you know and there was a whole uh, I think it was about 12 months ago there was a whole big thing about it and everybody's imagination was going wild and this is what they call the fourth the fourth revolution about the um, about the, the digital and the artificial intelligence and there's going to be a lot there's going to be lots of jobs which uh, will be replaced by artificial intelligence in fact smart system a smart system is when you get a lot of professional put in a lot of information and that system it can be automated or non-professionals can interrogate the system or the system can interrogate you and you can uh, you, you, you can have an outcome about the situation you're in right and you don't even have to interact with the person that service uh, they, go, they can charge you for it you know um, or a subscription this is a new way now with, with software you they, it's moving to the, the point now where they don't let you buy software they let you rent it you know uh, so whether you use it a little or whether you use it a lot just having it you're paying rent you know and that's the way they're some of the big companies are selling software at the moment and this thing about being linked with the cloud there's some softwares and there's certain things you can't do on your computer now without actually being linked to a main server or having an internet connection and even when your computer hasn't got an internet connection the software would automatically try and find some way to connect with a mainframe in relation to that software even if you've got no internet connection you know so that's a little that's AI artificial intelligence that's the the fourth revolution um, and that was the automated uh, thing about cars self-drive cars and we're almost there and that comes from me just experiencing being in the place all the details that Google has from the air from the ground and even from the individual and you notice if you go on Google map now um, you, you, you have points where it's actually telling you about businesses the business over here business over there um, you know so that probably is an extra payment again because if you haven't paid Google to advertise you on that map then you won't show up on the map so if someone is is looking at that for directions you know they might go to another restaurant or another uh, whatever entertainment venue or another so it, that is literally here but meanwhile we're in a pandemic actually let me finish off that last bit of trend there uh, universal basic income no I tell you what I'm gonna go I'll go on about universal basic income on another time can you see anybody behind me up there I think yeah someone someone's actually opened up the window so I think they're trying to hear what I'm trying to tell you um, so there's a thing called no I'll do the universal income and the underlying economic trends which had pushed them into thinking that kind of way 
it was uh, Andrew Yip, one of the candidates for, I think his second name is Yip, is a um, Chinese guy. As people like to say Asian. No, I don't like saying Asian. You, you're taking away the identity, you're taking away the character, you're taking away the culture from that person. Chinese guy. Or Chinese descent. At least I think it's Chinese descent. It could be Korean. But, um, and he was advocating the universal, uh, sorry, the, the, yeah, universal income. Not universal credit, which is a system here in the UK of unemployment and other uh, state benefits, etc. But let's get back to the coronavirus. And today is the ending of the third week of the 75% of the reduction in the lockdown and um, tonight now we are gonna have um, from midnight people coming in over from um, from Spain will have to go into 14 days quarantine and what they said about that what well, they made mention about that before was that um, you will have to give all your details at the airport your name and address where you are staying for that 14 days they will randomly check on you and if you're not in they will fine you and i think it was something like up to a thousand pounds if you know uh, for more offenses you know so this is where we are at today uh the time now is around eight 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 nine o'clock uh the stadium lights have just come on uh we're getting more and more darker earlier as summer officially summer is 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 easy in a way uh, as we go into august it's usually autumn or i think they say in america the falls the leaves start to fall uh, we get a lot more wind and rain the temperature drops the temperature today is about right now it's about 18 degrees see i've got my jumper on it's not a t-shirt and I got an overcoat on so it could be down to 17 degrees uh, so that's the temperature right now London London England now I don't want to say London UK because under this coronavirus uh, London is no longer sorry uh, United Kingdom is no longer uh, United you've got different rules for uh, Wales Scotland England uh, Ireland and yesterday I was speaking to some friends some people who came up from Cornwall they go camping in Cornwall and Cornwall wants to be independent as well so that's uh, the kingdoms breaking up and Cornwall is they, 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 there's talk and there is uh, it's just a general conversation that Cornwall might ask for independence you know so it's London and England so that's how it is. Scotland, Wales, Ireland have different um, uh, restrictions in relation to the, to the virus. And I think in certain places you can't actually cross the border. You can't travel more than five, five miles from your, from your residence, you know. So um, you can't cross the border from Scotland into England or cross the border from Wales into England. I'm not quite too sure a hundred percent on that so but um so let me leave you now so today uh the 25th saturday the 25th of july 2020 overcast day it's beginning to rain a little now uh this here is part of the development of arsenal stadium part of their portfolio of um i believe it's part of their portfolio of investments um, here at Arsenal Stadium so I'll see you on the next video log or webcast